the present economic paradigm promotes and valorizes competition ambition and achievement in order to be successful in the present system men are encouraged to develop a killer instinct to become economic warriors in order to prepare children especially boys for these economic systems schools teach them competition from the very beginning rather than sharing and cooperating competition is encouraged in all activities sports culture academics this virus of one upmanship has already caused an epidemic of competition in all so called good schools individualism has become the mantra everywhere even within families individualism and competition leads to aggression self centeredness and dog eat dog attitudes the one who stands first who outshines and outsmarts others is the hero rather than the one who shares helps or builds a community spirit the present economic world rewards only those who get ahead by crushing others or pushing them back in the present economic paradigm it is not biological men but men conforming to hegemonic masculinity who are encouraged and rewarded men who can grab power and use it for self promotion and for the promotion of their products and ideology are admired and promoted in this economic religion where profit is god lies false accounting bribing and corruption are legitimate if they give you contracts markets investors and jobs there is little space for or accommodation of those who are weak for historical and structural reasons for example the blacks the dalits the third world the elderly and the women they may be objects of pity charity or welfare but they are not partners in setting goals or taking decisions they are considered to be dispensable economic wars spill over into political wars in which plundering others for economic dominance justify military attacks on them military power is a tool to gain and protect economic power this kind of economic thinking puts humans over and above nature and profit above everything hence we see environmental destruction all around us masculinity means domination and exploitation not tenderness caring or nurturing let me pause here and ask you a few questions take out your notepads please and jot down your answers for future reference I think it is by now clear to you that aggressive men don't just dominate women they dominate and oppress other men too this means that men also suffer at the hands of hegemonic masculinity we have already said that notions of masculinity deprive men of qualities like gentleness compassion caring and nurturing boys who are gentle are not only ridiculed they may also be sexually exploited and brutalized by aggressive men since men's roles are designed around performance and achievement they are defined by others 
and by themselves in terms of their jobs, positions and activities. As a result of these, they are expected to suppress sensitivity, to be tough, to not express their emotions, to not talk about personal anxieties and doubts and fears to their friends. There is a sort of emotional castration of boys and men. They are forced to wear masks of strength and toughness and become strangers even to themselves. Because men are born with power and status in patriarchy, they learn to defend it. <laughs>